these neighborhoods are in my blood. These neighborhoods are the ones that have defined me. In Raul's last term, he was the author of our tax credits bill, brought thousands and thousands of jobs back to California and many, many jobs to this community. Raul is very passionate about public safety. He has a vision of how to improve the community because he has lived in it, because he knows it as his own. Hello and welcome to Lights on LA. I'm your host, Louise Gill. This evening with me, I am truly, truly honored to have someone with me that is pretty well known to the Armenian community, has been on my show before, Raul Bocanegra, who is running for state assembly for the 39th district, and let me say, not the 43rd. Right. He is a very good friend with Artie Kasakian and actually has been endorsed by Artie Kasakian as well as ANCA, SCAD, Congressman Adam Schiff. So that says a lot about Raul Bocanegra, who is running for state assembly, 39th district, which we will be introducing and talking a little bit about him and how he became, uh, how he became into politics, how he is involved with the Armenian community, as well as a uh, gentleman, House Simerjian. How are you? Very good, thank you. Uh, he is the advisor to Raul Bocanegra's um, Armenian Advisory and the representative for the Armenian community. How are you, sir? I am doing fantastic. The election is 14 days, three hours away. And I'm. And really, how many seconds? How many seconds? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, thank you so much for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. You're very welcome. It is, it is our honor, and as um, it is truly an honor for us to have you around the Armenian community, um, and being present and being endorsed by so many well-known. As we all know, that ANCA is a grassroots of the Armenian community, as well as SCAD. And of course, a very good friend of ours to the Armenian community, uh, Mr. Congressman Adam Schiff. Yes. So for those people that do not know, you definitely have to be, you're a winner to us. Um, how did you start with politics and your background? Let's talk about that. Wow, um, that's really big because uh, I'm now 20 some odd years in public service. I started off uh, working at City Hall. Uh, as a planning deputy aide to uh, then council president. His name is Alex Padilla. He's now mm -hmm. our secretary of state. Right. And I got to uh, work at City Hall for 13, 15 years. And um, I was always comfortable being behind the scenes. And during that same time, I've been uh, very fortunate to be teaching at Cal State Northridge and now recently at UCLA. So I've been a professor slash uh, government public service worker for many years. Uh, because the, the neighborhood that I grew up in has given me so much and I've given back whether it's being involved in uh, creating more affordable housing, uh, pr protecting the environment. Um, I'm also a member of the local North Valley YMCA. So yeah. I've been part of this community for so long, um, mainly because it gave me so much and I'm truly blessed to still have my family and my mom and dad live in the city of San Fernando. Wow. So. Um, when I'm out there working on behalf of the community, I'm working for my friends and family. The 39th district involves what community, yes. what districts? Yes, and just to be clear, I am not running <laughs> against city clerk of Glendale, my good friend with Ardashis Kasakian. I'm not running against him. In fact, Artie is supporting me. Uh, the 39th assembly district is pretty big. It's uh, Pacoima, it's all the city of Los Angeles, Okay. Uh, with one little small area of the city of San Fernando, so two cities, but the neighborhoods of Los Angeles include Pacoima, Sunland Tahunga, North Hollywood, as you know, large concentration, concentration of, of the Armenian community is there. Right. But also in Sun Valley, Arlita, Silmar, Mission Hills, we've also got Lakeview Terrace too, and Shadow Hills. So it's uh, very large, it's very dense. There's about half a million people who live in this district. Wow, that's amazing. And how many of that would you know? How many of them are Armenian con uh, constituents? See, the problem that we have sometimes is that we lose that data in the census. The right. Armenians uh, in the census be become white. Oh, okay. But we know for a fact right now there's registered over voters. 10,000 over registered Armenian voters. Yes. And there was an uptick this past June in the primary. And Armenians came out to vote in this district and we believe and we know that they voted for me. That is wonderful. And we obviously know the reasons why. <laughs> I know that you had obviously a long objective with ANCA. 
as far as them endorsing you, um, I'm sure that you had to go through a lot of sure. questions and answers. How did you feel about that? Um, I came from a perspective of trusting them, of believing in their mission. And so when they asked me, look, these are um, the hoops, so to speak, that you have to go through. And we, we went through that starting earlier this year. Uh, but my history with the ANCA goes back years. Um, they've been part of my campaign in some way or another, supporting me and supporting my, my friends in the area. So um, the leaders of the ANCA um, are no strangers. So when they asked me, look, this is what it's going to take, uh, are you in? I said, absolutely, I'm in. Because having the endorsement of the ANCA just signals so much. It does. And, and, and for somebody like my, myself, who is the son of a Mexican gardener, um, there's so many similarities between the, the Mexican culture there is. and the Armenian culture. Very true. How did you start with the Armenian community? How did you get to know them? Well, I got to know that Armenian community has always been here in the Northeast Afridano Valley. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I would speak Spanish to some of our neighbors and they would speak back Armenian to, to me. <laughs> <laughs> so they've always been part of, uh, of our neighborhood. Some very good friends of ours uh, had been involved in local democratic club circuit, uh, um, right. as you know. The Southern California Armenian Democrats, they've endorsed right. me early on, uh, not just this time around, but also uh, four years ago when I ran for the very first time. And so some of their leadership has always been supportive of me. Uh, school board member of Burbank, Dr. Armand Agakanian, he's a longtime friend. Burbank school board. He's been, I mean, he's the Armenian um, Marlon Brando. <laughs> me. Uh, no, no, but uh, always been very helpful, always uh, really quick and easy to, to give advice and counsel. And it's not just with, with Armand, there's been a lot of other people. And, and I'm supported not just by elected officials, but people from the community. Wonderful. And of course, let's talk a little bit about endorsements. Sure. You have been endorsed by, I believe, Glendale City Council members, R.A. Sunanian. Sunanian, yes. Any other ones? Yes. Um, uh, Mike Matosian, he is the uh, president of SCAD, of the Southern mm -hmm. California Armenian Democrats. Levon Baronian also uh, lives in Sherman Oaks, but is the uh, local chapter chair of the ANCA North Valley chapter. Uh, he is supporting me. Christine Jerian also. Uh, from the mayor's. From, from the mayor's office, but more importantly, just as importantly, I should say, uh, active in the, the, the Salantahanga right. area, especially with ANCA. So scores of folks have always been so supportive of me. And when I decided to run again, uh, late last year, they were the first ones to sign up to help me. That is wonderful. Let's talk a little bit about your views. Yes. What are your views? What are the issues that are currently happening in your district that will happen in, or are happening in the district and what are you going to do to solve them and what are your priorities? Yes. Um, I am the author. So I served at the assembly briefly for one term and I'm the author of the biggest jobs bill ever in the last 10 to 15 years, and that's the film and TV tax credit program. And a, a little bit of that was featured in the TV ad that we, you just played. And that is bringing back entertainment jobs, Wonderful. stopping that runaway pre production and bringing it back to California. And I'm the author of that bill, Assembly Bill 1839. The bill number doesn't really matter. What really mattered to me was how do we get it done? And $300 million a year in tax credits for the next five years each year to keep TV jobs, uh, uh, big tent pole jobs in terms of movies staying here in California. So jobs is the big issue for me. It's a, it, this is a working class district. I don't care if it's Bacoima or Salentahunga, it's working class, because they're working families. So keeping good paying jobs in this district is important to me. It's important. Uh, being a long time educator is also important. So you know, everywhere I go, people always, always ask me, how do we make college more affordable for, for my kids? And so, there's something called the, the middle class scholarship. The middle class scholarship was uh, passed a couple of years ago and my name is on that. Um, but it doesn't go deep enough for middle class families who don't okay. qualify for the financial aid. Because when I went to college, uh, tuition at UCLA for one quarter was $400. Now, if you just that for inflation, we're still not there. So there's a lot that we gotta do to make college more affordable. Transportation, coming over here, me and Haruth, we're, we're going over potholes, we're going over 
free, uh, the freeways, we need to invest in infrastructure. Right. And, and the, the transportation fix that Sacramento is trying to do is long overdue. We've deferred so much in terms of our public infrastructure when it comes for, to transportation. So that's also going to be a priority for me. Not just because it, we build things and it, it's going to make transportation more uh, qu quickly accessible. It's good paying jobs. Good paying jobs, which has a multiplier effect. Um, the other thing that I want to uh, be able to focus on are not just big ideas, but local solutions. The, the 210 freeway in Selma Tahanga and Lakeview Terrace needs a sound wall. And I, like I tell people, I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to build a sound wall. And we're going to make Caltrans pay for it. Wow. And that was a joke. Uh, but <laughs> I, the, I, 210 freeway, <laughs> the, the 210 freeway needs a sound wall. And it's a, a low priority for the powers that be at uh, the Department of Transportation at the state, we're gonna make it a priority. That's wonderful. Our biggest issue um, is what are you going to do for the Armenian community sure. once you are a state assembly member? Yes, if, if I'm lucky enough to earn the trust and support of voters, uh, one of the very first things that I'm gonna do is have a presence in the community in North Hollywood and Salanta Hunga, but more importantly, hire people. Hire people who speak Armenian, who are, um, make sure that we make government culturally appropriate. Uh, just as important is making sure, because I see a lot of similarities between the Armenians and Mexicans, that we are inviting the Armenian community to participate into the civic life, which means voting, which means participating on bills, right. being part of the political process. I think that's so important. And it's going to take a while. Um, but it's my goal that um, we continue to register. I think that we've reached there. Yes. I, I've, we've gone pretty far. Well, we need to register more Armenian voters in this part of town. What people tend to forget is, aside from the district that already is running for it, this district has the second largest concentration of the Armenian population. And we need to make sure that it's reflected and the people that we elect, the people that we appoint. <coughs> so uh, that's going to be a priority for me. Second, working with the Armenian community locally, uh, with SCAD, with the ANC and others, I want to be sure that they're getting um, their full share of the, the social service dollars that are coming from the city and from the state and the federal level. And that does include having a physical presence, um, right. uh, whether it's, it's a cultural center or a youth center probably more a youth center. That's what I've heard from a lot of folks and right. stakeholders. Having a youth and family cultural center in this part of town is so important. It is. And, and that's going to take resources, and that'll take time. But um, I'm somebody that, that likes to have, you know. Challenges. Challenges, absolutely. How do you feel about the Armenian genocide? I think uh, when countries disavow, ignore, don't... Uh, don't step up to the table to recognize what had happened. I think that's a tragedy. Um, I was there, uh, not just in, in Montebello and Hollywood, but for all the commemorations that happened uh, this past year. And that's important to me that we continue to do that. When I served in the assembly, uh, we made sure that we uh, approved and I voted for resolutions that uh, asked Turkey to recognize the right. genocide to continue to support and recognize the independence of, of Artsakh. And one of the very first things I'm going to do, uh, if I'm lucky enough to win, is to ask to uh, uh, be a member of the Armenian caucus. Wow. Very impressive. Howard, you have been silent this whole time, and now <laughs> it's your turn. First of all, most importantly, why pick Mr. Raul Bocanegra to work for him? Hi, yes, Bars, 
մակուր այսինքն դուք ինչ որ տեսնում եք ինքը այս ձև է եւ շատերն են դա ասում եւ զգում ես աշխատելով ես ուրեմն են հունվարից ներողություն հունիսից ավելի ճիշտ սկսեցի կամավոր կերպով աշխատել հիմա ղեկավարում եմ մեր հայկական այսինքն ընտրությունների հետ կապված հայերի հետ այս ծանոթությունը այսինքն ես աշխատ ու մի քանի ուրիշ հայերի հետ մենք ամեն օր հեռախոսա զանգերով քայլելով այսինքն փորձում ենք հայերին ծանոթացնել Ռաուլ Բոկանեգրային այն հայերը որ ապրում են այս դիստրիկտում 39-րդ դիստրիկտում եւ անակամնան կսեր որ 39-ը դիստրիկտը գոչվի Սանլենտ Հանգա որ շատ հայեր կան նոր Հոլիվուդ Սան Ֆերնանդո Վալի այո Եվ նույն ժամանակը գուզեմ հայերենով ասենք որ Արդի Քասախյանը Քավասունի երորդ դիստրիկտն է Raul Bokanagvan Yevesunina. So Ayo, da shat karevor hartse, vorovetev Artashesi yev Raul Bokanagvan irank mteri mngerneren en yev ajaktsum en meka musin, aisinkhen tarber entrakan shorjaner en sirank, tarber tarackner en. Raulina inchpes arten asatsin Sanlent Hangai shorjaner en metnum vor vortegh benakvum en shat shat mets tvov hayer yev North Hollywoodi shorjani Husi Sain Mas metnum e ais districti mech. Aisinkhen haya shat e. Hamarner chi դեմ բայց գիտեմ որ 50000-ից ավել հայ է բնակվում այս տարածքներում 50 60 70 այսինքն հսկայական թիվ է այս 40-երորդ տարածքը